these are all examples of thirds square roots which cannot be worked out however it is easy to multiply two thirds together so for example square root of 3 times square root of 2 3 times 2 is 6 the answer is still a third we cannot work out the square root of 6 without a calculator or a computer the next example works in the same way square root of 20 times 5 is 100 but in this case we can work out what the square root of 100 is it equals 10 so the answer has simplified in the third case there are thirds and also integers whole numbers when we times together a combination we do the normal numbers first 5 times 3 is 15 then square root of 2 times 50 which is 100 but we can work out what the square root of 100 is it is 10 and 15 times 10 is 150 it must be borne in mind that this is all about multiplying and these tricks and rules don't work if you add or subtract thirds we'll do those in another lesson the final one a square just means times it by itself using the same ideas 2 times 2 is 4 3 times 3 is 9 we can work out that square root It is 3 and 4 times 3 equals 12. So that is how you do the basic ideas of multiplying thirds. We can also do more difficult multiplying where there is a combination of additions, subtractions all different expressions. Now when you multiply together two brackets one useful trick is to use the grid method. We have a root 3 and a 1, a root 3 and a minus 1. Now, When we do root 3 times root 3 we know from before that equals root of 9. Then we have 1 lot of root 3 which is root 3 we have 1 lot of root 3 which is root 3 but there was a negative there then we have 1 times 1 which is 1 and we have a negative so there we go and the answer is the sum of all these things so root of 9 ah yes that equals 3 we have a root 3 we have a minus root 3 and we have a minus 1 the plus root 3 and the minus root 3 they cancel and 3 take away 1 equals 2 there is a shortcut for these type of expressions where we have the same expression but a different sign. It is worth knowing this shortcut. 
the squaring parts always cancel out. The root 5s give us a root of 25 and we have a minus from here and 2 times 2 is 4. Root of 25 is 5. 5 take away 4 equals 1. It's certainly worth exploring this idea of the shortcut in some detail because it can speed up otherwise quite long calculation but if in doubt use the grid method we can also simplify thirds the trick for simplifying is to be aware of probably the first 10 square numbers I've written down those first 10 square numbers across the top. Now the trick is to look for a factor of 200 which is also a square number. We look through these numbers and look for the biggest factor of 200 out of here. Well 4 is a factor certainly, so is 25 but the biggest one I can see is 100 because it is 100 times 2. We can then break this expression up into two separate square roots. Root 100 times root of 2. And we can work out what this square root is. It equals 10. We can't work out that part so we leave it as root 2. In the second example, not as obvious, but we look and think, is 4 a factor? Yes. If we keep on going, we find the largest factor of 72 from the square numbers we've got so far is 36. It is square root of 36 times 2 do the same principle as before. And this part can be worked out because it was a square number. This equals 6 root 2. And that is the answer. We could then try and do the next one. 4 is a factor. 9 isn't. But 16 is, so it's 16 times 2. Once again, it breaks up, and that part can be worked out for root 2. In each case, we've got down to a smaller square root than was in the original expression. The final one, I'm sure you're thinking ahead now. Which of these goes into 27? Well, 9 does. It then breaks up. We can work out that final square root. And that has therefore been simplified into a lower third.